together we can. Hello there, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Upside Down Show right here on City TV. My name is Nana Tufo. And I am from Edinyami. Tonight we are going to be doing some magic on the mm -hmm. show, you know. I'm super excited because yep, of yep, the yep. different thing that we'll be doing on the show. Yeah. The Upside Down Show is proudly brought to you by Vodafone Ghana. Together, Together we, can. we can. Now I'm not going to be saying so much, you know, because mm. we will leave everything to your imagination and your expectation. So right after this break, we've got a beautiful something to show you. Coming up on the Upside Down Show, we have a conversation with contortionist Agnes Band. And later, we speak to viral sensation Equiable Fruit on the show. Okay, we're ready to roll. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited, you know, I feel like yeah. a child at a circus, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. it looks like today will be kind of different, yeah. you know, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm thinking I, I could live my, relive my childhood. You know, back in the day, we used to crack in school and uh, you, you'd have to be able to bend certain parts of the body. No, but now you have to my statue, you have to... <laughs> Then Charlie, you know, we could do a lot, you know. Don't worry, right don't now, don't no, worry. System, no. You will have you have time to prove yourself. Okay. Don't worry, you know, because <laughs> what we're going to be doing today is super different mm -hmm. and it's pretty mm -hmm. awesome, you know. Okay, right, so we have, yeah. <laughs> Let's so we, see what the bell is calling. Mm -hmm. Right, so whoever is there, please come, ladies and gentlemen, help us welcome our guest. Sandra is here. Okay. Whoa. Now that's heavy. Ha. Hi, Sandra. Do you need some help with that? Hi, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Uh, yeah. All Hi. right. Hi. So maybe uh, you can just come here okay. just a little bit. <laughs> okay. So you have a parcel. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. So would you want to tell us what is in? Uh, just wait. You will know it's very soon. But how heavy is it? Because I saw you struggle. Uh, very a heavy, but I'm, I'm quite strong. Uh, hey, how strong yeah. are you? <laughs> very strong. <laughs> Oh we, need, we need people, we need strong people at exactly. the Olympics, you know, yeah. so maybe you should consider that. Sure, I will. <laughs> all right, so I'm sure we'll call you back later yeah. on, you okay. know, when we mm -hmm. figure all this out, yeah. and then we'll have some more conversation. Okay. So for now, thank you very much. Okay. We'll see you Bye. later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, so maybe we should come down, you know, mm -hmm. to was in there. unwrap mm -hmm. our parcel. So five, four... the bag was unzipping itself but now i see a finger okay are you thinking what i'm thinking with a finger uh-huh well we'll be santa and fred we know <laughs> Whoa, wow. that's a human being in there. Ah. Wow. Ah. Wow. Wow. wow what an ah. entrance Whoa. beautiful agnes this Amazing is super awesome stuff. please have a seat wait yeah. maybe in the middle hold on come this way. let me see do you have bones in there <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> She's got bones, man. I'm but, real. but how could you fix yourself <laughs> into a bag? Just my body. Your body. What about your body? I'm flexible. Wow. Wow, you, you, you are extremely <laughs> flexible. But you are a contortionist. Mm -hmm. Who is a contortionist? A contortionist is a person who bends and twists the body into different shapes, weird objects. Anything you mm. can do with your body is contortion. I'm even scared. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what to be showing How many us? shapes can you twist and bend your body into? As many as I can see and wow. I can imagine. Wow. But how are you able to do it? Well, I would say training. Okay. Yes. Continuous training, commitment, dedication, and hard work. So we will get really into that. But who are you? You know. Yeah. Tell us where, about where are yourself. you from? Who gave birth to you? Where do you live? <laughs> Who are you? Okay, I am Agnes Yankwa Mesa, mm. but I'm known as Agnes Bend Ghana Boneless. I'm 23 years of age, okay. a dance major student in the University of Ghana. Okay. Right. And currently, I'm at Paint. 
Okay. okay. Yes, and my parents' names are Frederick and John. That's what I can say for now. Mm. Okay. Yes, and I'm a dance teacher, a yoga and dance therapist. Mm. Okay. Um, also a model. Basically, I call myself goddess of art. I find myself oh, wow. doing anything. Mm. So I dance as well. I breathe fire. I do hula hooping. Anything you can think of. Mommy, try to dance in the University of Ghana. I can't do so. <laughs> <laughs> but at, at what point in your life did you know that you were this flexible? I discovered it in 2017. Oh. Mm. Yes, then I started practicing in 2018. Okay. You were a fully grown woman by then. Yes. So okay. all through your childhood, you didn't know? No. Growing up, I wasn't dancing. Neither okay. was I into art. Mm. I was rather into sports. Okay. Yes. Okay. You used to run? Yes, I did. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. So what Amazing. special things do you do? You know, do you have to eat some kind of meals? Do you mm -hmm. have to do anything different from what no I, I was gonna say normal people, but I think <laughs> I can say normal people, yeah, you know, right. because what you're doing can be described as kind of abnormal. Mm -hmm. You know. So what do you do, you know, in terms of putting yourself to your art? Okay, personally, I do not take in too much heavy food, mm. like banku. Nana, Nana can't food. do it. No, no, no. <laughs> he will, he will nah. try, you know. I won't survive. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you eat? Um, baby food. Baby food? Baby yes. Food. Like what? Serilac or the other baby foods ah, we know uh, in right, cans. Yeah, then sometimes big beans. Listen, are you for real? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but so... At your age, you are eating baby foods. Mm -hmm. Won't that give you any health issues? Yeah, are you sure no, I'm older? used to eating it. No, but has a nutritionist or maybe a doctor yeah. certified that you are okay with that? Yes. Because I think babies eat baby foods. Exactly. Adults eat adult, adult, adult food. food. No, um, I did a test um, that was last year, and mm. um, the results came out that I'm 23, and then 22, mm -hmm. but I have a body of a young girl. How? Yeah, I don't know. I've forgotten the name of the test, but ha. we do check that kind of thing. So anybody at all can check? Why, yes. did you, why did you check? Why? I did because I wanted to know why I was flexible and others keep asking, can I be flexible? So being curious, I decided to go mm. further into it. And okay. coming up with uh, my own research about bones, I realized that people who have smaller bones are likely to be flexible okay rather than those with bigger, bigger and bones. hard bones right. so so that means that it is kind of your biological makeup yes hmm. okay so it's not just yeah. anybody who can do this yes but people who cannot do it may not know their bodies are capable of doing it Mm. Okay. So yes, I think maybe my body can do it <laughs> uh, no, I say, I the water, the water way, won't permit me but does anyone in your family also bend I I teach my sister, uh -huh. but she hasn't picked up yet. Uh, hopefully, okay. don't go and kill her. Hey, <laughs> you know, you're the only one with yeah. the gift. <laughs> how many are you? Four, including myself. Wow. Okay. okay. So, how do your family? You know, how does your family feel about this? Okay. Um, my parents thought it's something suicidal, yeah. and my dad <laughs> keeps telling me, "We are now, we are now, we are. I give it, yeah." Yes, and my mom was like, hey, isn't this risky, dangerous and all, but mm. I didn't mind them. Like, yeah, I just moved ahead. So, so what do you do? If this is your career, yeah. apart from maybe teaching, so what? A musician probably will go for events and all. So you, where would you go? Where would you display? Okay, so for the past years, um, it's dance that I've been doing, even though I could do this. But when directors come for you, they just want something normal. So mm. I dance. Mm -hmm. But once in a while, I do perform these with um, artistic groups um, mm. at places like, example, Kozo. Mm. I've been performing there for months. Yeah. Yes, and other places like that. Do you enjoy oh. bending? Yes, I do. Mm. How exciting is it for you? It is because it's exercise my body as well. Mm. Because I believe the body is like a doll and a machine mm -hmm. it needs to be active because as a normal human being we have muscles in our body right. and the only normal thing we do is walking sitting sleeping we are limiting the muscles so mm -hmm. what can we do to put the muscles in action is by extending the activities mm -hmm. of the body mm -hmm. right so do you think that you know as a nation we can't be taking advantage of things like these 
as yes. a sport or entertainment. Yes. I think. So mm -hmm. what should we do? Um, right now, I think it's all about exposure and um, Ghanaians getting to accept it. Because even with dance, it's not even well respected. Mm -hmm. When you're seeing mm -hmm. dance, dancing, like you're the things you're not serious yeah. in life and all. But mm -hmm. I believe there's more to activities. It's not just about the beauty or the entertainment part of it, right. but health benefit and mm -hmm. other reasons as well. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you want to take this to? So you can bend your body. <sighs> so... Okay, I want to be known as the first Ghanaian contortionist. I know mm. um, with other countries, we have a lot of them. Right. Even some are better than I am. But as a Ghanaian, I want to take up that nation that, oh, because there's this perception that blacks cannot um, bend, blacks can't yeah. be contortionist and all. So I want to take that name up. I know it will take a long way, but I believe I'll get there. But but the choco guys, you know, some of the yeah, yeah, yeah. they well, are also doing magic the beach, with they are doing yeah. contortion yeah. and stuff like that. Or what? They are not taking it professionally. So well, that's the truth. I know of people in mm. the Jamestown yeah. sector. For them, they've been doing it since childhood, even with yeah. acrobatics. It's yeah. something there. But I I realize at the end. It's just stuck there. Yeah. But I want to go in relation with academics as well. Right. So I'm not just going because I feel like it's something practical, mm -hmm. but I can be able to explain because in as much as I'm teaching contortion, I take that platform to teach anatomy and physiology because okay. I have oh, wow. studied it as dance. well. Mm. Yes. Okay. Amazing stuff. Now, have you looked around or have you found out if there's no one else doing what you do so that you can, I mean, like pool? bring them together and then i mean you're stronger together have you thought about it because i know there's a nigerian contortionist who's really doing well out there yes is it mm. deflex yes yes he's my friend okay yeah um yes i have thought about that and concerning deflex issue um next month i was supposed to go to nigeria mm. for a workshop right but the lecturers are on strike which implies I wouldn't be sure if we'll be able to write our exams oh, or not. Right. So I have to cancel it. Yeah. But in Ghana, I have, um, I have known those in the Jamestown area. But yeah. the thing is, uh, I feel like it's about the connection. They have their own plans and yeah. I have my own plan. Yeah. So what I am doing now is training new people. Mm -hmm. So like Sandra, she's with me and I'm training her, so hoping sooner. To also be bending? Yes, now she can do some one or two stuff. Really? Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> do, I thought it was just small people who yeah, could exactly. do that. Exactly, I was going to ask, do you necessarily need a particular body type, yeah. a size, weight, to be able to bend? No. Everyone when you go outside, it's rather those with bulky body, mm. big ass, big boobs, like they have been doing. Because oh, wow. in contortion, you choose the kind of space you want to mm. dance. Some people do it in, um, in the clubs where they do pole dances yeah. and they yeah. include contortion. Mm. You can include it in dance where um, you dance contemporary. Uh, anywhere you want to mm. include that. You mm. can also use it as a product in the sense that you, you strike a pose with a particular product, okay. um, distinguishing a normal human being. Like if I'm holding an um, apple juice, a normal person would take a picture like this. But yes. as a contortionist, how are you going to recreate a pose with okay. that apple drink so mm. that it will mm. catch the attention of um, mm. the viewers out there? Okay. Right. So now, the, the more you train, the better you get. So mm -hmm. how many times do you train a day for how long and what type of sessions do you go through? Okay, I wouldn't say I have trained too hard because school is included, work is also included, mm. but I've tried my best to go this far. And with contortion, it needs excessive training and mm. particular equipment, right. but I don't have them. Mm. So I have to be using the wall, the chairs around me and all, mm. and I'm supposed to get an instructor mm. uh, with some particular poses. You need someone to align you, sure, okay. but I don't have anybody, and it takes someone with that expertise mm. to know what you're doing is right so i'm doing everything and which has slowed me down but mm -hmm. i believed if i had the environment the instructor or whatever and i would be able to all. yes mm. go far so i'm still learning yeah I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so you are learning by yourself yes so mm. all this while nobody has taught you anything no okay but so, where did the interest come from yeah. by the way <laughs> Okay, so in 2017, I was climbing a staircase and I slipped off. 
So when I fell, I landed with my hand. And the people around were like, how did you fall? How did you fall? I was like, how did I fall? What do you mean? And someone brought a picture. I was like, see, snake people. I was like, snake people. So I was curious and I went to type on Google, snake people. Mm. Then I realized it wasn't snake people necessarily. Yeah. It's called contortion. Yeah. So from there, I started watching. I think the first contortionist I saw was a black contortionist. She's from, I don't know, is it Congo? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And she was doing some Obviously, stuff. Obviously, Congolese of people, course. of course. You see what they do with their waist. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, wow, what is this? So mm. from there, I decided to try. So I was like, okay, if I felt like this and it was something nice, Man. why not just move on with it? So anytime I sit on the chair, I'll just put my back there and roll over. Then it mm. started. Wow. You don't have an instructor. You don't have the right equipment. Have you considered the risk factors? Have you ever broken a bone while training? Well, not for contortion. Okay. That one was a different case. Mm -hmm. But with contortion, yeah. nothing yes, like that. I have felt trying to do an elbow stand, mm -hmm. I did not position my body well and I fell on my neck. Wow. And what happened? Nothing. It just hurt and I, I, I just do fall, but it's normal. I just get healed. So clearly, I mean, you, you, are not, you don't have the favorable conditions to be able to blow as much as you would want to. Would you consider relocating to maybe a country where the system, the facilities, the equipment are available for you to be able to reach your peak as a contortionist? Yes, I am. Hey, you want so, to live so as where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> um, plan on US. Um, Why? Um, Why? Because that's where they take it serious. They do it. But you can also be an advocate. Exactly, you can yeah. start that, you know. Because I'm sure, just as you didn't know you could do this, there mm -hmm. probably are other kids, you know, who will be, who are watching you right now, mm -hmm. who also do not know, but yeah. they probably might also realize that they can do certain things, but they haven't considered contortion, right? So why wouldn't you lead that call? And mm -hmm. also kind of have a certain discipline because now they are doing everything at, um, the Olympics, at the Olympics, yeah. you know. So why wouldn't you want to groom people or you don't have that time? I do, but I am leaving to go and train because I feel like then I come need back to win. <laughs> 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 there are workshops being held and I personally want to go just to get the right techniques. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for some particular aspect, especially with the acrobatics. For the contortion, it's easy, but acrobatics, you need alignment and a whole lot mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. you. She, so, wa she wants to go and do America's Got Talent. And why not? You know, <laughs> so, so if there's something you would want to, I mean, you mentioned um, dance not getting the needed recognition mm -hmm. and the difficulties you have, you know, as a contortionist trying to come up perfectly with your craft. If there's any information you'd want to give, maybe the government, you'd want to give uh, maybe tourism ministry, yeah. you'd want to give sports ministry, even education ministry, what would that be? Okay, um, I would say that um, in life, whatever comes first is movement. Even in science, your first page you open is living things and unliving things. And as one feature of living things, um, as movement. So we believe that, oh, sorry, I believe that something that should be considered as a basic thing of man should be movement. Mm. And even when we come to the culture aspect, we have ignored that aspect of dance. We say, okay, we love our culture and everyone is thinking about just language, the food we eat, the clothing, mm -hmm. but forgetting that dance, music, forms part of the culture and right. if we want to accept our culture we need to accept everything mm. and Ghanaians or the government rejecting the dance looks like they are pretending because if you want to accept that culture then it has to be everything, everything and it, yeah. aside that we do complain that there are um, limited jobs in Ghana, mm -hmm. but I feel like everyone is rushing into the corporate sector. Yeah. We have people who are handy work. We have people who have talent and these people need to come out to work. So if we find other people in different sectors, that pressure in the corporate sectors will reduce. And I feel like that's going to help because in the West, not everyone is doing the banking, yeah. going to the office and no other people are doing other stuff even mm. in dance there are a lot of occupation you can of find course. yourself of in. course all Amazing right stuff. wisdom yeah yeah <laughs> right. so um 
you know you have to show us you've been exactly talking ma. that your 23 year old body you know with a little uh -huh. girls uh -huh. i mean makeup you know so this is the upside down our guest is um agnes, agnes bend. bend you know she is going to be bending uh -huh. doing all kinds of magic so we'll go for a break when we excited, come back uh. we'll do the stuff you know what agnes is really made up of City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. It doesn't hurt. You don't feel any pain anywhere. No, I'm just enjoying. You're not wow. tired? No. <laughs> How much stamina does one need to be able to do this? <laughs> come, 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 come. Oh, oh, bye -bye. oh come, we could try something. No, no, start. Oh, yeah. Start. Oh, music. 
Yo, give me some music, music. Okay, so when you have to teach somebody, what are the basics? You know, so for instance, if one is no, 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 get down. Oh, oh stop that. So if you want to teach someone, okay, what are some of the basic steps? How would you start with them? Okay, for every beginning student, I begin with the techniques of bending back into a bridge and a split. Because based on these two, <laughs> you build upon. So you can't do this. No, ma, I, I can't. Can you? But we are not talking about me. We are. I'm uh -huh. asking you a question. Why are you asking me a question? Okay. No, don't explain with. I mean, show us what's the yes. bridge. What's the. Okay. So, we have many ways of going mm -hmm. into a bridge. So as a beginner. We have the standing. Okay. This is after you've mastered um, the bridge itself, okay? Oh, if you mind this one there, you can. Ah. But you start from. I'm watching first. The oh. floor. Okay. So, as a beginner, um, the ability to push up, mm -hmm. this is like a whole start on its own. Right. Then now you can push inside. Yes. So, once you're able to do this, you can even go down into your elbows <laughs> now. Yeah. It's wow. okay, it's okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. That, looks, that, is, that, that is beautiful. Wow. Thank you. you. It's so much easier. You talk about mm -hmm. it like it's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure people find it very difficult doing this. Yeah, yes. extremely difficult, yes. Because Tufa can never do this for all this golden oh. right. for So the, how many how many for, students for right do you price. have? Massa, yeah, they are crash according to me. <laughs> so how many students do you have now? Um a lot. A lot. I have personal ones and in schools i do teach mm. in schools as well okay so. do you put videos out there for people to yeah for tutorial videos mm. for now i don't because i don't have time but for my own practice i do put it out there okay so instagram. what are your social media handles mm. okay i'm on instagram as um ghana boneless okay mm. then on facebook as agnes bent mm. then tiktok agnes bent Okay, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. so is there awesome. a phone number we can reach you on? Um, 0549 mm. 2716 Great, Agnes, this is super awesome. Yeah. This is yeah. beautiful. You yeah. know, one different kind of entertainment, and I think <laughs> that we can watch you all day. Yeah. We can only wish you the best. Mm -hmm. And please, when you go to the US, you know, and finish learning everything, come back to Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> Because we come, need come you. Yes, oh, we need yeah, you. Thank you very much. You know, today we've learned something different. So this All one, the I'll best. Try yeah. to eat more okra or less okra. <laughs> okra. They say eat baby food, you say okra. <laughs> right, so Agnes, thank you very much. It's been awesome hanging mm -hmm. out with you. Thank you. Great. All right, my You're people. Welcome. This is still the Upside Down Show brought to you by Vodafone. Together we can. We'll be right back with some more juice. <laughs>